वन पीस सर सो टुडे वी गोइंग टू बाय अ लाइव चिकन एंड देन प्रिपेयर इट वन इज अ होल कोक का फॉर लंच बंदी वेश वाला ओके कैन आई प्रिपेयर इट पहले कैन यू शो मी हाउ Yeah, he will show you. First, he he has to wait uh, the chicken. Okay. And then you have to slaughter it if you like. Yeah. Okay. I'm told it. I'm told it. One kilo or some gram, yes. One point eight kilograms. One point eight kilograms. I feel so nervous. <laughs> name him. No. Name him. By the way, Luke is here his, with uh, us. His, his name is Lunch. Chris the Chicken. His name is Lunch. No, Chris the Chicken. Of course, it's my brother's name, so it's too close to home. <laughs> too close to home. You name your go Greg after Steve Greg. <laughs> and now you name Chris the Chicken. Yeah. If you want a smaller one, then he will make another one. Six hundred and eighty-four rupees. It's like five dollars. So, wow. Okay. Okay, 684. Come on, you you want a slaughter? I think so, but I'm not sure I can. Let's see. Let's let's, see. let's Maybe he needs to teach him. Oh, okay. How to do it? Let's see. Can I can slaughter a very big one? Here. Put your one foot on here. Uh, and then second one there. And you have to just grab it like this, okay? Are you nervous? Yes, I'm very <laughs> nervous. I'm very nervous. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut. Yeah, you have to just pull it back, right? The fork must be come back uh, for Muslims, you know. And is this? Say the kalima. This is. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. What do I say? Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Bismillahi Allah wa akbar. Bismillahi Allah wa akbar. Yeah. Bismillahi Allah wa akbar. Okay. And then I will just cut. Cut it. Cut okay. It. And you have to just scrape it for two seconds and then put it. So this is halal way. Halal halal way of. Yeah, halal way. Uh, okay. Muslims do like. That. This is harder than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should let the man do it. Then say ya ari bhai bhai. Yeah, bahut mushkil hai se. Hmm. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. And then just go like this. Yeah. And then just pull it back. It's forward. crazy that I eat chicken almost every day. This shouldn't bother me, you know? I know. <laughs> But you've never seen it live. It's always in uh Okay. Right. Um, How do I hold the head? Like this. Like this with the yeah. thumb. Yeah. And then just you cut. To, yeah. And so the head comes right off. Yeah. You you have not to pull it off. You just cut just it. Just cut enough. Yeah. Cut enough so that there will be a bleeding. Uh bleeding. And then yeah. you dra you drain all the blood. Yeah, yeah drain yeah. all the blood also. That's the halal way. Okay. Bismillah ala wakbar. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Here. And then cut it and say the kalima. Bismillah. Otherwise you you will suffocate. Okay, okay, okay. Just do it at once. Zanga. Okay. Yeah. Don't okay. make it suffer, Steve. Yeah. That's the whole Bismillahi. point. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Say it one, again and again. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Bismillah Allahu Akbar Bismillah Allahu Akbar A bit a bit more a bit more inside yeah Bismillah Allahu Akbar Bismillah Allahu Akbar Okay Yeah it's yeah Bismillah Allahu Akbar Bismillah Allahu Akbar Bismillah Allahu Akbar Bismillah Allahu Akbar I want to wash my hands. I want to have a shower actually. <laughs> wow.
So there you have it guys. So my part of the video, my contribution to lunch is done. Ivana now will take over and prepare some lovely Pakistani food. Oh, okay, he's cleaning it. Uh, was it harder than I thought it would be? Or easier? Uh, it was kind of as I expected. And what did you expect? Uh, it would be hard, but it's necessary. And it's, you have, it's just kind of... I'm right. glad I did it. It was an experience. Your first Will time. I do it every time I eat chicken? Probably not. Ah, uh, that was rough. <laughs> wow, first time. Okay. Well, I feel dirty. We I want to shower and just leave uh, that behind me. Can so, Luke, hands. what would you say? Was it uh... confronting? But it's ironic that we all eat meat and don't. Yes. You know, yes. See this. We seem to be sort of removed it's from... hypocritical, I guess. Yeah, exactly. We seem to be sort of removed from the meat on the plate is an animal. Because of the whole grocery store experience, you go there, it's all already prepared. It doesn't seem like it's... But something is dying every time you eat meat. I was expecting a little bit more of a, a battle from the chicken. Though. I thought he'd be Yeah, good around, point. He so didn't really resist yeah. at all. And there wasn't yeah, it's because uh, they cut it in a halal way, so they... Um, don't want to make the animals suffer for long. Right. So you just gotta, you know, kill it. There it is. Okay. Okay, you got. So this is so familiar to most people. Yeah. Chicken. But the animal aspect of it is so unfamiliar and so unnerving and startling and. Wow, there you have it, guys. Okay. As, as so fresh as you can get. As fresh as you can get. 684 rupees. For a whole chicken as fresh as you can get. All right. All right, back to our accommodation. Make some lunch. Sure. Let's go. Okay, 684. All right, change of plans, guys. Ivana did not feel very inspired to cook this particular chicken for obvious reasons. <laughs> so we just had the uh, owner of the hostel here cook for us, and we decided to go with fried chicken and french fries. <laughs> Very familiar. We invited Luke and we have one more friend coming. We felt like it was the right idea to bring people together and sort of cherish this food. That's right. What an ordeal. What a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> I will say it was really hard to do, obviously. Tremendously difficult mm -hmm. to actually do it. But I don't think the fact that it was so hard to do means I shouldn't do it at all. Right. It feels like... In some ways, just eating meat from the grocery store and not being sort of attached to the death of the animal, I feel like that's the easy way out. Right. It and makes I've... you appreciate the life that the chicken has. Mm. Absolutely, you which know? I think has two effects. One, um, if you had to put it this way, if you had to kill the chicken every time you had to eat it, I don't think it's possible you could be overweight. Your appetite wow. goes right to where it should be. You're not just going to eat extra stuff because you really realize the suffering of the animal, as well as you're not going to waste any food. Yeah. So you'll eat, you won't overeat and you won't uh, like be wasteful with your food. Yes. I think it's the right way to eat. Honestly, I would do that again. Yes. Well, this is cut. Uh, it was killed in a halal way, so halal. it limits the amount of suffering that the animal yes. has. Let's be clear. In Canada, you're not going to walk down the street and go to a shop where you can kill a chicken. But uh, I would do that again if we're staying here for a couple weeks, Ivana. Yeah. That was a unique experience, and I think it's the right way to, to eat meat. Yeah, as I said, it makes you appreciate the food even more, no? Definitely. Yeah. What would you say, Luke? Would you try it? Yeah. I think it um, puts into like perspective people will, you know, take for granted being able to go to the grocery yeah. store and grab your, grab your chicken drumsticks. Exactly. They're like, this is the reality, all these animals die at the end of the day yeah i would do it again i'm not opposed to it good experience hard <laughs> to do but i think it's the right way to eat meat mm -hmm. and actually, to be clear if there's leftover meat on your plate and you're gonna throw it out oh, i'm yeah. gonna grab yeah. it and i'm gonna <laughs> shove it in your mouth that's true that's true that's another thing don't be wasteful yeah. like, you won't be wasteful yeah with you won't be wasteful yeah because you know where your food comes from so it's funny this looks so familiar <laughs> And yet the experience of getting this to here was so unfamiliar to me. Yeah. We ended up with uh, fried chicken. And it actually looks very delicious. It looks good. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. Chris, Chris so, looks good. 
Thank you, chicken. <laughs> Thank you. Don't name the chicken. Oh, <laughs> don't like do this not at name all. the chicken. <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> okay, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video. We were just walking down Main Street and we saw the chickens and we thought maybe we should do this. It's a unique travel experience. This is sort of what we love about travel is it pushes your boundaries and makes you do things, think things, experience things you would otherwise never experience. That's right. Fingers crossed our Japanese friend is here soon. There'll be four of us eating and then the four of us can... Uh, <laughs> cherish the life that this unnamed chicken has given us. <laughs> unnamed. <laughs> All right. Named, All right. Named in my head. There you mm. have it. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's eat. Let's eat. Yeah. Ivana made a good point. Last year in Malaysia, I was fishing. I pulled a fish out of the water. I killed it, gutted it, and we ate it. And I felt nothing. And this is way different. The question is, what is so different between a chicken and a fish? Mm -hmm. Luke is hypothesizing it's because you can relate to a chicken more it's on land it has kind of like a face that looks familiar you can relate to a chicken more mm. it was so hard to do that to the chicken and it was so easy I didn't even think it would be hard at all to kill a fish I wonder if it would be harder again to kill like a goat I think so yeah it will be even harder which by the way Luke bought a goat yesterday you're not killing Greg <laughs> not for eating just for a pet goat yeah Interesting, right? In my head, I can make it, I can break it down that it shouldn't feel bad to kill a chicken. We have to eat it, it shouldn't feel bad, but it does feel bad. Mm -hmm. It just does. Uh, Luke said he's not gonna eat anymore. He said he felt, felt awkward. I was so hungry before, and then seeing it, it looked delicious, but then reflecting back six hours ago on poor old Chris. <laughs> Couldn't eat him. I couldn't, couldn't eat, him. eat him. It's funny. I had, I had one of his wings. But if we went to the grocery store and bought some chicken and made it, you no. have no problem eating yeah. that. It's very interesting. Psychological, I think. Psychological. Mm. Mm. There you have it, guys. So many unanswered questions. So there you go. So the message is, appreciate the food that appreciate you put into food. your mouth. Appreciate and no waste. We're not wasting this anyway. No, no, no. We won't waste it. Yeah. Our friend is coming now, and then we'll give it to the guys. We're not going to waste it. Yeah. Right. That was really wild. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching.